So there's a right way and a wrong way to design a homestead, from shops to barns to chickens to houses to gardens to orchards to ponds to greenhouses. How do you do it? I'm going to tell you the right way to do it. Stay tuned. So you want to know the right way how to design your homestead. There is a right way and there is a wrong way. And I spent a lot of brain power when we first bought our raw land about 10 years ago on how to do this properly. The most important building on your homestead is the centralized shop. Uh, there is no argument about that. That is the number one most important thing. The shop is our hub for everything. Our water system is in there, the water pumps, the controllers, when we do a solar panel system, the batteries are in there. That's where our internet comes in, that's where utilities come in, that's where our main storage is. And the shop acts as the whole controller for the homestead. The shop is also where I fix things, store things, and I want it to be closest to everything else. The shop is the most vital part of any homestead and the first thing you should build. Now, if you're in a municipality or you have the wrong zoning where they won't let you build a shop first, I suggest move and find a better government. Some municipalities won't even let you build a shop until you have a house and then some won't let your shop be bigger than the house. I think I just, yeah. I just had an idea. What was vitally important for me was to get farmland and agriculture status as an active farm, which allows me to do farm buildings without so much government interference, so I can do it properly. So when we first bought bare land and pioneered from a bare piece of land, I'm bringing tools out so I can do some work. I had to buy a sea can and drag it out to the property and store tools in there and tools and generators and things. and so I can build the shop. When the shop was done, that was the first thing I built, then you can kind of get set up in there and then everything else is easier from that. The house, as far as I'm concerned, is just another building. A house is where we raise our kids and a barn is where we raise animals and a chicken coop is where we raise chickens and a pond is where we raise fish. So a house is shouldn't be the central part of, of your homestead uh, because I, I have a production mentality. For instance, I have three young boys. I'm sure they're not going to be spending hardly any time in the house. They're going to be in here with me all the time fixing something, doing something, right? Now, if you don't have a centralized shop, it doesn't make sense. If you're doing something on the greenhouse and your shop was way over here, and oh, I forgot the needle nose pliers, gotta go over there. Uh, if you're working on something in the greenhouse or your orchards or something, and you need sprinkler fittings, go to the shop. If you're doing something with the animals and you need something, the shop. If you're in the house and you need need something, this is where your like food storage is too, when you're producing, right? You go there. The shop is the centralized part of everything on the homestead. Shop first, uh, then I did chicken coop and barn and kind of house. And you can see it's kind of around the shop. I didn't want my animals close to kind of our water sources because animals aren't conscious and they will kind of poop where they eat. There's a lot of manure. I don't want that close to my well and my pond. So on this side of the shop, I kind of have compost piles, goats, chickens, the barns, chicken coop, this type of stuff over here. And on this side, I have my growing area that is also where all my water sources are. So I got my well on kind of the clean side and a pond kind of on the clean side. And where you need water is not for livestock. You need water for growing areas. So greenhouses take a lot of water. So this is kind of where your vegetable and fruit production. Orchards take a lot of water, gardens take a lot of water, and you need your water sources, and you want to keep those clean. So you want to keep the goats and everything away from your water sources. There's a couple things you just kind of learn as you go. Uh, my big barn I'm thinking of putting uh, back here, but when we have food scraps from the house and I'm walk taking them out, I don't want to walk from all the way to here when I to go to the shop. The chicken coop is kind of nice in between. And that's the, the chickens are where all of our food scraps goes. We don't do compost piles. They run through the chicken. So it makes a lot of sense to put your chicken coop here. 
I did a video about our whole farm Wi-Fi system and it's almost a metaphor of how you set up the rest of your homestead. The internet comes into the shop, that's your main Wi-Fi router and everything else is a node off of it. The shop is the centralized unit of the entire homestead. Because we have the shop and, well, greenhouse as well, and I'm the type of person and my family is, we're always doing something, we're outside people and productive people, that we're able to get by with a very small house. So essentially all the services come to the shop, whatever we need, solar panels, if we go off grid solar panel batteries, and I'm gonna be feeding our little house with that. Because the house doesn't need a lot of electricity, it's like lights, fridges, you know, your cooking appliances and little things like that but the shop is where I need everything for the big stuff all the time. So the shop is where you store everything, store material, store tools, store equipment, fix equipment, store all your oils, your oil filters. You have a clean part of it, you have a dirty part of it. It's where all the big food production is, that's where you butcher animals, that's where you clean vegetables. Greenhouse is actually attached to the shop, our main greenhouse. Our other hoop houses are gonna be in proximity, right? Because when we were starting plants in the winter time and I move those out to hoop houses, I don't want to be moving them to hoop houses over here or over here. The greenhouses area is there. So there's efficient greenhouse next to the shop for efficiency really tight and the one other ones can be further away. For our little orchard, it's uh, very nice to look at as well but a little orchard and our kind of little gardens. If we do expand to do, let's say, tens of acres of market gardening stuff, then you just kind of end up expanding your, your circle. So this is our inner perimeter, our yard, and we just essentially work out from there. Because of the rules and, and things, you have to get ag zoning, so I had to get a certain amount of land. So off of here is you go out into the pastures, or even pasture around here, for the barns. So this is an inner perimeter yard fence that I can protect from the deer. Our yard dog is in there, our children are safe, and that's our inner perimeter. Out from there, the goats in the pasture, you kind of lose kind of less security and things, and things get further away. So in here we have Wi-Fi, running water, electricity, everything in our inner perimeter, and as we expand, you just go further and further out with the stuff that you're not doing very often or have to be there daily. Now it's again it's vitally important where do you set down roots you don't want you, you want to make sure you have the right zoning the right municipality the uh, the ability to do kind of the things that you need to do the smart way without government interference but also you, want, you, you don't want to set your shop off if you got a bunch of Karens living in multi-million dollar houses close by. Uh, we got a lot of land and decided a long driveway that allows us the freedom to have roosters that make noise. No Karen complains about roosters making noise. Barns with a pig that might, might have a whiff of manure and stuff because it's a farm, right? You have to get away from those people. Now when you're setting up your yard site, uh, don't be too close and don't put things too far away. Too far away makes things difficult. Too close, there's no room to maneuver. So I like my shop and I attach the winter greenhouse, but I'd like some room for the other greenhouses. The shop is nice and separate and in, in between there's room to turn around semis, a nice gravel area for whatever that I end up doing. The barn is a good enough distance away. It's not getting smelly around the house type of thing. Um, and the, the well is far enough away and the pond is far enough away that there's not going to be any manure contaminants, I guess, from the animals. When I do a compost pile, I put the compost pile in my yard. I got room to do things. Let that compost, I have room to turn it. When it turns to nice soil, then I haul it to the good areas. So I hope that made a, made a lot of sense. Your shop is the main hub. And for whatever it is, whether it's Wi-Fi, water lines, electricity, just you doing something and having to walk, the shop is your main hub. It's like this web web thing I just, just drew and it makes a whole lot of sense. So I hope that that helped you out. Let me know if you set something up uh, similar or let me know if you disagree with me, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm right. It just uh, makes so much sense and firsthand experience. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.